Well, if it isn't my favorite drink of all time, the Irish coffee, this cocktail truly is amazing, and that is what we are making today. Hey, it's Eric the Drink Idiot here, and the Irish coffee is a true classic that we're making today. And after the recipe, if you stay with me, I'll give you my opinions on it and give you a little bit of history of the cocktail as well. But to make the cocktail, I'm going to start off with some hot water in a coffee mug. Either that or I'm using the official Irish coffee glass. You just want to put that in there for a few minutes and then discard it just to warm the glass up so we're not adding a warm drink into cold glass. So, very simple. I want to start off with some brown sugar. Some places may use white sugar or Demerara. I like brown sugar, it gives it a nice flavor. And what I like to do with the brown sugar is just take a little bit of hot coffee, not a whole lot, just like a splash or so, and add that to the mix. Stir that in there so we can dissolve that brown sugar in that. And I just find it easier to use the back side of the spoon with this type of glass. That's why I'm using it to stir that in there. After you do that, we'll take some Irish whiskey. And we're going to put one and a half ounces of Irish whiskey into our mug. As you can see, that fills it up pretty good. Once we do that, you want to fill up with some coffee. Be sure to leave a little bit of room at the top. Now, it's best to use either a dark roast coffee or a strong coffee with this one. It seems to go over better. Now, the next step is we're going to take some cream and float it on top. If you've ever seen the Irish coffee in the pictures, You've seen that little color of cream on top. Very simple to do, and it's better than using a whipped cream out of a can. You just need some heavy whipping cream. Pour about two ounces of it into a cocktail shaker or a mason jar, even if you don't have a cocktail shaker. I like using my three-part cocktail shaker for this. It's a lot easier, less likely to make a mess. And we're just going to shake this. You just want to shake it probably about 20 seconds or so. And as you do that, you're going to be adding air into the cocktail or air into the cream. And you'll be able to feel this actually thicken up as you're shaking it. So once it sounds a little bit less liquid and a little bit more solid, we're going to take the top off of this. Careful with this because it's easy to make a mess doing it this way, but it's better than, I found it's better than using a whisk or a hand mixer to do. After that, you just want to take a bar spoon, pour this over top of the bar spoon. As you can see, after about 20, 30 seconds, the cream is thicker, but not solid. If you have solid cream, you did it too much. And if it is too thin to float on top, you didn't do it quite enough. And this is how you make an Irish coffee drink. A very, very simple drink, yet it's delicious. Ah, I love the Irish coffee. When you taste it, you get cold immediately from that cream floating on top. You get this lovely warm sweet coffee mixture coming through and it really brings out the flavors in the Irish whiskey. I've always been an Irish whiskey fan myself and this drink really helps bring out the flavors of it. I love it. It's a little bit strong if you're not used to whiskey drinks or liquor drinks in that matter. Um, if it's a little too strong for you, you can always put an ounce of whiskey in there or you can add extra brown sugar. Um, I actually, when I first started making them, I used two teaspoons of brown sugar, and I've toned that down because I've kind of developed a taste now over the years for liquor, and I enjoy it better the original way. 
As for the origins of the Irish coffee drink, it is rumored, reported originally, that the Irish coffee was a drink that came up, kind of was made on the fly by a bartender in an Ireland airport. And what happened basically was there were some American tourists getting ready to fly back home. Uh, some weather forced the plane to turn around and land back at the airport in Ireland. And basically the bartender was asked if he could make some drinks for the passengers to kind of warm them up. It was cold, it was dreary, it was disgusting out. So he improvised, made this drink with the Irish whiskey and the coffee in it. And people loved it. They asked if uh, it was a Brazilian coffee that they made him. And he just said, no, it's an Irish coffee. Uh, this recipe came to the States because of a reporter ended up giving the recipe to a bar down in San Francisco, and it has gone crazy ever since. Very popular drink. I love it, and hopefully you'll love it too. Before you run off and make your own Irish coffee, click over there on my logo to subscribe for even more. Also check out the playlist up there for whiskey drinks. Thanks for watching this one. Remember, it's okay to drink like an idiot.